Humans have learned and created a lot of effective solutions against a number of viruses like polio, smallpox, and now even corona. The fastest vaccine ever produced. We have vaccine even for the flu, which shifts and mutates every other year. But we still haven't been able to find a cure for the common cold. <laughs> Why don't you just install an antivirus? Hey, this is not that virus. These kids, man. Okay, back to the point. Adults suffer an average of between 2 and 4 colds each year and children up to 10. We have come to accept it as an inevitable part of life. And it's not we haven't tried. We may be even be close. But first, scientists have to tackle a decades old problem. Welcome back to Thought Control. The main difficulty is that while all colds feel much the same, it is not caused by any one virus. Over 200 virus strains are implicated in causing common cold. And from a biological perspective, the only thing common between these different viruses is that they cause cold. They have evolved to enter and damage the cells inside our respiratory tract. They have been mainly divided into seven virus families. Rhinovirus, Coronavirus, Influenza, Parainfluenza virus, Adenovirus, Respiratory, Syncticaly virus, blah 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 blah. With Rhinovirus being the most common accounting up to 75% of colds in adults. Research to look for a cure for the common cold began in 1950s. Soon after in 1953, when a bunch of nurses developed a mild respiratory illness, scientists isolated and held a group of viruses responsible. Now known as rhinoviruses. But they quickly ran into an issue that is still perplexed scientists today. The number of circulating strains. There are at least 160 different strains of rhinovirus, which makes cracking the cold problem a little trickier than expected. This now meant that scientists need to design a vaccine that can prevent all the strains from infecting us. It's like trying to design a master key that can open 100 different locks. This discouraged a lot of people from a seriously working on these vaccines. And the idea of developing dozens of vaccines for one illness and single individual requiring so many shots is just too impractical and costly. The consensus was that a rhinovirus vaccine was not possible and so the clinical trial stopped around 1975. But as we said, 45 years later today, we may be close. We are trying to discover some of shared part that is common in all of those viral structures so that we can target an immune response specifically against it. In that case, a single vaccine could offer protection against all of the strains. Some researchers are taking more traditional approach. Polio also had multiple strains. Three to be precise, but what scientists did with polio is that they mixed all three strains together to form a vaccine cocktail. Even the pneumonia vaccine consisted of components from 23 different bacterial strains. These are called broad spectrum antibiotics. They work by inhibiting the key proteins the bacteria needs to reproduce. These proteins are structurally unique to the bacteria and so that drug doesn't harm human cells. But viruses use the host cell to reproduce using the very machinery of infected body. So to leave our cells intact while the virus is attacked become a little more trickier. The goal of the researchers to mix at least half of the 160 strains, taking the most common and viral ones. And rhinoviruses aren't likely to mutate like the flu, so the vaccine can stay effective for decades. But make no mistake, it only sounds easy. Each new strain added to mix increases complexity. Do you want to create a super virus? Yeah, you are right. Correct. The kid is right. This is how you create a super virus. But still, perhaps the biggest barrier between us and the cure is commercial. Lack of funds has resulted in slow progress and in some cases even abandoned researches. Ha ha ha, they will never be able to find the cure. Hey, leave. Still for the first time in decades, major pharmaceutical companies have again picked up rhinovirus vaccine program. 
With all the different approaches at our disposal, it is not difficult to believe that a cure for the common cold may soon possible. But will there ever be cure to the cold deep inside my heart? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please let us know in the comment section below. If you don't like the content, still please suggest us what kind of content you would like to see. Thank you so much. And please don't forget to share and subscribe. Consensus. Consensus. Commercial. Commercial. Commercial, beta. Commercial. <laughs> you can subscribe now. I have to leave. Hum pe bharosa subscribe ka button tu daba.